what is going on YouTube it's your boy Billy Kibaki and in today's video I'll be showing you how to play PS3 games on your jailbroken PS4 5.05 using the PCRS3 emulator now this will be done through Linux OS installed on your PS4 portable hard drive I've made video how to do that and I've also made video how to play other emulator games using the Linux on the PS4 so links for those will be in the description make sure that you guys check out the description and read through it okay so let's go ahead and get started so guys you want to head over to the RPC3S website and you want to click on compatibility and you want to make sure that you guys read through this before trying to play any one of the games over here it shows the name of the games and over here it shows the status of the games as you can see it shows playable over here and over here shows the names of the game so make sure that you guys read through this before trying to play any one of the games alright so head over to download links right here then you want to go down and you want to get the one that says download for Linux okay once you have that head over to the Sony website and you want to download the latest um, PS3 update right here okay once you have all of those download let's head over to the USB stick and you can use FAT32 or XFAT it doesn't matter FAT32 or XFAT it will still works right here I have the RPCS3 for the Linux and right here I have my PS3 hub that I have my PS3 PKG game right here and up here I have my PS3 folder game right here so what you want to do is right click on the uh, the emulator for the Linux rename and let's just shorten this because it's gonna make things a lot easier if you shorten it just like that alright so let's head over to the PS4 and load up Linux you guys should know how to load Linux I've done videos about it as I said links will be in the description for a lot of stuff so let's head over to the PS4 okay guys so now that we're on the PS4 remember that you should refresh your menu right here so go down to JWM click refresh always do this when you load Linux also you should have your PS4 controller connected to the PS4 using the USB cable you should have your USB hub connected with your USB mouse and keyboard and also your Linux portable hard drive plugged in alright so let's go and click right here go to file manager and you want to go down to your USB stick that you have all your stuff on so right here I have mine and I have my PS3 PKG, my PS3 update, and I also have the um, Linux emulator right here for the PS3. So I'm just going to go ahead and let me just do this one by one. So I'm just going to do right click, copy, go to right here, go to ROMs, right click, create a folder and I'm gonna call this folder PS3 PKG games then I'm gonna enter it and I'm gonna paste the PS3 PKG game right there okay so I've just copied over my PS3 PKG I'm just gonna go back to my USB stick and I'm going to copy over the folder game so right click copy go to home folder ROMs and I'm just going to create a new folder and I'm going to call this one PS3 folder games press OK and let's go ahead inside that one and I'm gonna paste my game right there okay so I just copied over my folder games so I'm gonna go back to my USB stick I'm gonna grab the update right here and I'm also gonna grab the 
PS3 emulator. I'm going to press right click and copy. Go over to OM folder, ROMs. I'm just going to paste them right there. Okay, so we just finished copying over our update and our PS3 emulator. So make sure that you guys stay in this location because we're going to copy this up top right here. Copy. Then go to the menu icon. Click. Click on Terminal. Then once this pops up, you want to click and then you want to type CD space. Right click here paste then press enter once it shows right here where it shows the ROM is selected what we can do next is go over back to the PS3 emulator right click rename copy this go, then go back over here so you wanna click press full stop forward slash then right click, paste, press enter and as you can see it says permission deny so what we can do now is type chmod space a plus x space full stop right slash and then you wanna right click again paste then press enter and that's it now we can close this down and open up the PS3 emulator now double click you're gonna see execute click it and there you go you can now click right here press continue go over to your controller guys click it Make sure that DualShock 4 is selected. We can now click save. Now go to file right here. Go to install firmware. Then you want to click right here. Go to ROMs. Select your PS3 update. Click open and let it install. Okay, once you have installed the PS3 update, we can now go to file again go down to install PKG and we want to select our PS3 PKG game this is mine gonna go ahead in install it okay once you have installed your PS3 PKG game go ahead press OK now I'm gonna go to um, file again I'm gonna go to hard game and I'm gonna select my right here go to ROMs and I'm gonna select my folder game go right here choose folder and there you go I now have my folder game right there okay guys so I forgot to mention one more thing and you need to fix the audio so go to configuration go down to audio and right here where it says ALSA you wanna change this to plus audio now go pulse audio go down to save and then let's go ahead and try out the uh, Dragon Crown. This is our PS3 um, PKG that we installed. So go ahead and click um, Start. And there we go. We have audio, guys. Okay, so I can use my... PS4 controller and start the game and everything I'm ready, let's do this. Let's go. All right. Shall we? Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and close this one down and let's try out on the shoot. All right, so we're going to click on the shoot, click boot. And there you go. Again, guys, remember that you all should check the 
compatibility list before you guys go ahead and try out any one of the games so guys if the video was helpful please leave a like also share the video around and also you guys can subscribe for more video to come thanks for watching guys and i will see you in my next video